Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about conversion from general tree to binary tree. So for that, first you must be aware of what is general tree. You might be knowing about the binary tree. Binary tree is nothing but data stored in hierarchical structure. And that is in the form of tree where each and every node, suppose I'm having this node that will be having at most two children, right? So either zero, one or two, right? So this is about binary tree. But if we talk about a general tree, so general tree does not follow this, right? For a general tree, it is like uh, we can also consider it we uh, usually talk about it as a mv tree so mv tree that means it can have more than two children right three four five six any number of children right and that is called as a general tree so let me tell you one example of a general tree so suppose i'm having something like this this 50 as a root node it's having four children and uh, these also have few children right regardless its order right it's not a binary search tree that we need to consider the order that it uh, should be like the child should be greater than or lesser than the root, right? It's a general one. So here, as you can see that uh, this 50 is having four child, right? This 10 is having two ch children. 20 is not having any child. 30 is having three children. 40 is having one child, right? So this is, we can consider it as a general tree. Now, what are the drawback of this general tree uh, general tree for storing the data yes it can store multiple data uh, together but the algorithm for searching for uh, sorting right or for storing the data this kind of algorithm it is quite di difficult for this quite complex for this as we are not aware of that how many children will be there right in a binary tree, we know that at most two children, so either we can have zero, one, or two. So accordingly, that we can uh, go for the algorithm. But here is a quite complex, not impossible, but quite complex thing, right? So uh, usually in a data structure, we avoid the general tree. Now, if you want to convert this general tree into the binary tree, right? So let us see. So uh, let us take one example that. Uh, suppose I'm having uh, this 50, it's having and then it's having like 10, 11, 15, 17, 19, and this having 25. Right. A small example. Now, uh, you need to understand the method that two things you need to keep in mind. That will start with the root node, right? So, this 50 will be considered as my root node. Now, for this node, the leftmost child, right? Leftmost child of the general tree will become the left child of your binary tree right so here the leftmost child is 40 now this 40 will become left child of this this is your general tree right and we are going to create a binary tree so first thing you need to keep in mind is the leftmost node left most child here in this case is 40 that would become the left child and then its 
right sibling sibling you are aware of the children that are sharing the same parent that is known as a sibling so right sibling will become right child right so this is as simple as that now here in this case 50 is not having any sibling because it's a root node right so it is not having any sibling so here we don't have any right child getting this now if we talk about this 40 right so 40's leftmost child is 10 right so 40's left child will be 10 right now what about 40's right child so as per our sequence leftmost child will become the left child and the right sibling so 40's nearest right sibling is 30 40 is having 30 and 20 both are its sibling but the current right sibling the next right sibling is 30 right so this 30 will become its right child right keep in this mind that right sibling will become the right child and leftmost children leftmost child become the left uh, sorry ha huh, leftmost child become the left child right so here you have this now if we talk about this 10 right so 10 is a leaf node right it don't have any child right so here also it will not have any left child because left most will become the left child so it doesn't contain any uh, child so here we don't have that right in the right side it's right sibling now what is the right sibling of 10 that's 11 so we'll have 11 over here right this left is vacant right now if we talk about 30 for a 30 if 30 is having left child that's a 15 left most child is 15 right so that will become its left child right and its right child now what will happen its right sibling so 30 is right sibling is what 20 so 20 will become its right child getting this now if we talk about 15 again 15 is a leaf node right here if we talk about 11 so 11 is also leaf node so for 11 we don't have any left child right if we talk about a right child so 11 is not having any sibling right 15 is not sibling of 11 because they are not sharing the same parent right so 11 is not having any sibling so 11 will become leaf child over here it will not have any left child or a right child right same case in a 15 15 15 is a leaf, leaf node so left node will be vacant empty and for the right node 50 is right sibling is what 17 so 17 will become its right child now if you talk about 17 17's left child again it will be vacant because 17 is a leaf node it don't have any child so we don't think of left most because it don't have any single child right so 17's left child will become vacant right if we talk about the right child then its next sibling is what 19 so 19 will be here right now next if we talk about 19 right 19 is leaf node again we don't have any left child right if we talk about a right child so 19 is not having any sibling over here right because that's that's the end right 30 is having three children that is 15 17 and 19 no or not more than that right so 19 is having uh, not having any sibling right so we don't have any child so here 19 will become the leaf node right now comes again comes back to the 20 right so 20 for a 20 20 is not having any left child now here a uh, student make mistake that usually what do they do that 20 now it's not having anything so the left most child become the left child but it is not having any left child 
so now what right if we talk about the right child so the sibling right sibling will become the right child but we don't have any sibling right so here we cannot consider right but here 20 is having a child that's a 25 now in this scenario see this is a general tree so it's not a left child and a right child it's not like that right it's a number of child so the leftmost or a rightmost it doesn't matter it is having only one child right here i have not shown it as a left child i just shown it with this direction right here i have have it right so i have not shown it with whether it is left or right so a student will think that oh that's a right child that's not a left child so how can i put it here in a left child no it's not like that right uh any child right for the right usually student what they will do instead of putting it a left it will draw like this right now this is wrong this is not correct why because the right sibling will become the right child and 20 is not having any sibling so this is not correct it's not like this right so what we need to do we need to create a left node left child and here we can have 25 right though here it doesn't look like a left child right it looks like a right child but in a general tree it's not only left and right because uh, you can have multiple childs right children multiple children you can have right here in this binary tree it's a scenario that you can have only at most maximum two child so one will be the left and another will be the right child right but here you cannot consider like that right so this 25 will become the left child of 20 and the right child of 20 will be empty as 20 is not having any sibling right so this is your binary tree right here as you can see that this 50 is having one child 40 is having two children 10 is having one child 30 is having two children 15 is having one child 17 is having one child and 20 is having one child right so at most two children right so it it will not go beyond two right three no if it is three then it will be considered as a general tree it, if it is four then it will also consider as a general tree not a binary tree right in a binary tree you can have either zero one or two children right so this is a simple conversion from general tree to binary tree right i hope you understood it right it's very easy right just you need to keep in mind this two things that is leftmost child will become the left child and the right sibling become the right child right so that's it in this lecture in other lecture we'll see about the types of tree binary tree complete binary tree strictly binary tree right so that's it thank you very much thank you for watching the video